When you make it all the way to semi-state, it goes without saying that you're going to be matching up against a really talented team. For example, the Castle Knights, they had to take on a Cathedral squad in Plainfield tonight that won last year's 4A state title of going 29-0. and But that was last season. Knights trying to advance to state for the second time in school history. Only other time was in 2001. Zach Messenger on the mound for Castle, and he was dealing the Virginia commit there with the strikeout. Then we go to the sixth, another K. Well, in the bottom of the sixth with Castle down 1-0, it's Messenger at the plate. He can also swing the bat. A solo shot to left, and we are all tied up at one apiece. This would go to extra innings in the eighth inning. Top eight, Cathedral. In business here, it's Colin Green, RBI single. That would make it two to one. Cathedral, they would also add three more as they win five to one in extras. We have no regrets. I mean, we left it all out on the field. Uh, there's no changes. I mean, we just did everything we could. And, you know, it was great to see these guys really come together and battle for each other. I feel bad for them. But like I said, they gave us everything they had. We had such high expectations for ourselves. and. I've, I've said it every time that our record at the beginning of the year, I mean, we didn't, it didn't go the way we wanted. But, I mean, if you look at us now. I mean, no one expected us to even get out of our sectional, let alone play a team like Cathedral, who's been so good all year. I'm so proud to be a part of this team. And I, I wouldn't want any other team to play for my senior year.